Greetings everyone, Spartan here, coach of the Victor Velvetini. Welcome back to another LDL team builder. This is going to be for the final week of the regular season as we're up going up against none other than Obo29, coach of the Seattle Sandstorm. I'm going to pull up my notes. Alright, so here's the thing. If I make this win and I have a good differential, Ideally, 4-0, there is a slight chance I could make it into playoffs. But uh, that's all determined by uh, how even played uh, uh, for his week, uh, in his battle for this week against uh, Carlos, uh, coach of the uh, Iowa Cup Chews. So, it all comes down do how well I play this week. So, I'm not gonna lie, I really don't care. I honestly don't care if I make it to playoffs or not. I feel like I should just play through this match and get it over with so I can focus more on PBAL, future content that I have in store for everyone. So stay tuned for that. Um, but, uh, I don't know. It, I'm surprised how I was able to go from two to six to five and six. And there were like a lot of games that I actually could have lost, and a few games that I actually could have won. But then RNG happened in pretty much almost all every single one of the games. So there's that. So. Irritating, but not the end of the world. But uh, without further ado, I mean, yeah, sorry, I'm just trying to uh, formulate in, in my mind what I should say. This is, it's been a rough season for me, and not just from gaming, but also outside of gaming work and all so it's been very stressful and then I have also uh, like three or four other leagues I'm in that are not I mean they're not recordable the outside of the PBAL but still there's that but um all right without further ado let's uh get into the team builder so Obo changed the team up because this is initially was supposed to be uh Shane's team. He was the coach of the uh, Goodyear Gudra. He was the, uh, the LEL champion uh, from last season. However, he had to drop out due to uh, unknown reasons. I didn't really, I really don't know what the reasons are, but it is what it is. Um, so Obo Twenty Nine took over. I seen some of his battles. He is a pretty good battler, but I have no idea whether he's gonna play very seriously or very casually in this in this one. Because I could actually make it so that he can be relegated, but at the same time, he could beat me and stay in uh, in next season of majors freely, for free. So, it's, it's all down to how he plays. So look, look at his team, his team, and his team is very threatening. He has Megalodios, Landers Incarnate, Terrakion, Porygon 2, Shaman, Suicune, Togekiss, Copagrigus, Red Seal, Ditto, and Toracat. Um, the first things first, Megalodios. I initially wanted to draft this mod, but... I ended up dropping Mew instead. How, how, which is unfortunate for me because I should have went for it. I should have went with my gut and not with like on my doubts. So there's that. Uh, Megalodius is very threatening. Has access to a lot of uh, pretty good uh, moves. Probably run Ice Beam. Probably run Thunderbolt. Probably some Roost, Defog, Substitute, Calm Mind, you name it. 
um, it, it's just gonna be an annoying mod, and it doesn't even need to put in, uh, a lot of investment in in special attack. You could just put a lot of investment in in uh, HP and put like investments everywhere else to make it very viable. Lander's Incarnate is threatening. Luckily, this isn't the Sheer Force one. This is the Sand Force. So no need to worry about like life orb set. I mean, he can bring a life orb set, but it's not going to hit as hard uh, as it would be with um, with Sheer Force. Um, I could probably see this mon as his, as his best scarfer with you access to U-turn, earthquake or earth power. Have some nice coverage moves, <laughs> knock off, HP ice. This is a, a very pivot, fast pivoting mon. Luckily, with that base 101, that outspeeds most of my other mons. Dracion is a big threat overall. You can run Bandit, you can run Z. If he does run Z, it's most likely going to be ground because I do have resistances and, and safe switchings to those. Uh, to its stabs, specifically Stone Edge and close combat, but if he has like the the Earthquake, pretty much nuke uh, any of my ground re uh, my safe switchings to uh, Terrakion, so I have to be careful with that. Poirigon 2, very annoying Mon. All it needs to do is just set up a, a status move and just recover up while it just just stays annoying as it is. Very bulky with Eviolite, <clears throat> um, and that's pretty much it about Porygon too. I mean, it's very self-explanatory. Um, Shaman, I used to have this Mon. He picked it up. I know how it works. No need to worry about that Mon. Uh, Suicune, a big threat. If he sets up, I could lose. If he brings the right set, I could lose. So I have to be very, very careful with this mon. Because if I, if I'm not very careful with this mon, I can actually lose uh, against um, a calm mind set with Scald and maybe Ice Beam. Togekiss, just as annoying as Warrigon 2. It could just probably use like Thunder Wave or Body Slam, and just start uh, spamming Air Slash to get the flinches and paralysis hacks, and try to uh, win his wit his way through uh, and winning into that. He could also go for a more supportive set with Defog and Roost and maybe even Hail Bell. Other than that, this Mon is also a potential Scarfer, so I'll have to be careful with this Mon. <coughs> Coffer Grigus, I fought this Mon before. No need to ex uh, explain too much about it. I just have to be careful with it uh, as seen in uh, in the battle against DJ, where he tried to set it up uh, with uh, a calm mind, or what's Nasty Plot? Like Nasty Plot with like Misty Seed. So I have to be careful with that. Rich Seal, big wall, big annoying mon. Uh, rock Setter, uh, Toxic, probably either Iron Head or Seismic Toss with uh, Protect. Just a very annoying mod. It could be a very flexible mod as well, so I have to be mindful of that as well. So I could definitely see this mod being brought into this game. Ditto is ditto. Your run uh, is mainly best item is choice scarf, so it could probably uh, revenge kill if I bring in the wrong mod and try to set up. So be careful with that. And last but not least, Torcat. It's a fast fire type, but I don't see him bringing it because I do have a lot of fire resistances. It doesn't have all the co uh, type coverage that Incineroar does, and it doesn't have the dark type that it, uh, Incineroar does. So I really don't see that mon coming. Overall, it's a very threatening team. Um, if anything, I could see him bringing Megalios, I could bring, see him bringing Landorus, Incarnate, Terrakion for sure, uh, Banded or Z. Porygon 2 for sure, and the last two mo uh, the last two mons will be probably either Suicune, Togekiss, Copper Grigus, or Registeel. There's a chance he could bring Ditto, so I'm I'm actually very prepared for that. Shaman is possible, but at the same time, I do have uh, coverage against it, and 
Actually, thinking about it, he can bring this Mon. I think this one might- Shaman might be the fifth Mon. So I have to be careful with Shaman. But I don't see him bringing Torcat. Um, Copper Graze is, is a probable bring, but at the same time, I've dealt with it before. Um, Tokyus is, is probably his best defogger to bring over Landorus or La Megalodios. And then Suicune and Suicune. So, I have a team that um, the front office helped me out build up. So, let's get into it. The first up on the team is Mithy Moo. This is probably one of my win cons. Uh, it has the move Sword Stance, Shadow Sneak, Staker Sword, and Shadow Claw. I got a lot of def special defense bulk so I can s survive some hits that uh, mods like Shaman, Porygon 2, Suicune, uh, Togekiss. Um, to an extent, uh, Landers Incarnate and Megalodios could throw against me. If I can get at least two Sword Stance up, maybe uh, all three, I could sweep through with uh, using Sacred Sword and Shadow Sneak. Uh, Shadow Call just uh, to bop through uh, a Ditto just in case if he tries to switch into. Because even if he goes for Shadow Sneak, uh, try to revenge kill me, I'll survive it guaranteed and I'll automatically because I have Evia Light, he doesn't, so pretty much guarantees to kill it. Next up on the team is Terabyte the Crocodile. Put in a lot of work with him last week, so let's see if he could pull uh pull something off this week. Um I made it so that I can able to outspeed Suicune. I got uh, expert belt with uh, Intimidate, with Earthquake, Stone Edge, Crunch and Knockoff. Crunch is pretty much just for Megalodios for potential switch-ins, just in case once Terrakion is down. Once Terrakion is down, or I predict like put uh, possible switch-ins and go for Earthquake instead. So I have to be very careful with Terabyte into this matchup because if I click the, a Dark type move while well, Terrakion is still available and he does bring in Terrakion, I'm dealing up against. Um, a Terrakion with a free boosted attack. I have to be very careful with that. Next up on the team is Naturala the Como. I'm bringing Choice Scarf Como with Bulletproof so that I can block through mainly Shadow Balls from Porygon and Megalodios and Copper Grigus. Um, I have Close Combat, Dragon Claw, Ice Punch, and Poison Jab. With this move pull specifically, I can't lose against Ditto. If I if he brings in Ditto, I could sleep, safely switch into either uh, Mew or well, yeah, Mew or um, Go Blade. So this is probably my best revenge killer. Poison Jab and Ice Punch is really good coverage against uh, Landorus and uh, Togekiss and Shaman. Close combat hits really, really hard. This is actually my first time actually bringing close combat, so I'm looking forward to that. Dragon Claw pretty much hits uh, everything relatively well outside Togekiss and Registeel. So, yeah, that's pretty much it but of Komo's role. Next up on, on the team is Ocean Man. I'm bringing back the Tailgo uh, the Tailgo Rain Dance set. If I can take out uh, Hava Grigas and prevent him from trying to go for Haze, I think there's another Mon on his team that can learn Haze. I think. If not, it. it no, I, I think it's just uh, Hava Grigas. It works to weaken him, but at the same time, Suikun needs to boost. So. If he has uh, Haze, I have to outplay it and I'm able to able to set up with a Z Rain Dance, so I can be at plus one, be able to outspeed a lot of mods outside of mods that are possible Scarfers. Um, and with the max HP I have, I am not uh, dying from my own Shadow Ball if Ditto uh, is brought into this game. Next up on the team is Mew, Gen uh, Genesis Mew. Um, as I mentioned before, this is probably my switch into uh, uh, my best switch into Terrakion. I'm running a relatively standard set that I used to use before. I'm running uh, leftovers with 
Death Rock, Toxic, Roost, and Sidetrack boss. Um, this is probably gonna be the end. Of the this is this is actually the first time I bring back this set. And if I'm not mistaken, I'm I don't think I brought this uh, set into any of my games. Uh, when I brought Mew, I think this is the first time I'm bringing defensive Mew. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, don't mind the the point in special attack; it, it just couldn't go away. Um, Sajima tosses everything outside of Kofagrigus, and even so, I could just lay a Toxic on it, and um, pretty much able to uh, wither away uh, a lot of his mons. Uh, he d he could bring Heal Bell or uh, Aromatherapy with, with Sh Shaman and uh, Togekiss, but I can still break through them. I have more Seismic Toss than their healing, healing move. I'm not too worried about that. And if I get paralyzed um, while he's on the field, and he secret noise, uh, a secret noise will activate, pretty much uh, withering away um, Togekiss. So that's pretty much it about that mon. Pretty self-explanatory. And last but not least, I have Kita the Whimsicott. I'm bringing Infiltrator. Now the reason why I'm bringing Infiltrator instead of um, Prankster is this. I want to make sure that Suicune doesn't sweep me. So I got Leech Seed, Moonblast, Defog, and Taunt. Taunt prevents any potential setups. Leech Seed pretty much hits everything even through Substitute because of Infiltrator. Moonblast breaks through all of his monsters outside of Registeel and even then I'm still getting I can lay off a uh, free seed and wither, wither that mon away, and defog to remove any hazards he probably would bring, which will most likely be rocks or t box and toxic spikes. So that's pretty much like self. Uh, that's about it. I made this mon able to outspeed Terrakion, and I'll able to blow blow it away uh, with Moonblast. Surprisingly enough. Uh, especially if it gets w uh, weakened through hazards or minus one from like a close combat so I'm pretty much ready for that but other than that that's pretty much the team um, I'm gonna be honest with you uh, this this is a tough matchup I uh, before um, Obo took over, I was actually going to bring Marini for the last game, just for fun, and also an interesting matchup against Shane, but since uh, Obo changed the team up, I was like, nah, I can't do it, I can't bring Marini, I can't bring him, for a little pecs, uh, there were other options I could go for, but I think this is the best I could go f uh, work with. So if I win and I have a good differential, cool. If I win, I don't have a good differential, still good. If I lose, still good. You know why? Because I because I, I accepted it. I accepted that this season was tough. That this season I didn't bring in my A game. So hopefully I can able to change that up in next season thank you everyone for watching i'm about to get, go ahead and get ready until next time i'll catch you guys later